everybody, it's Keisha from Color My Footsteps and I am here on this lovely Saturday to do the TMI tag. I'm kind of late doing this tag. Um, it's been a around for a while, but I'm doing it for you today. So you get to know a little bit more about me. So there's a lot of questions and um, I'm probably not going to do every single one, but I'll do most of them. So let's get started. Number one, what are you wearing? I'm wearing a t-shirt and a skirt. I don't know. I'm wearing a t-shirt and a skirt. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Um, number two, have you ever been in love? Yes, I have. I currently am. So, yeah, that's that answer. Um, have you ever had a terrible breakup? Yes, I have. <laughs> I've had a couple, not a whole lot. I haven't dated that much, but uh, I had one in college for sure where basically don't date anybody you work with because it just creates drama further down the road. So <laughs> I will never, ever, ever do that again, obviously, because I don't work with David, so that won't be a problem. But yeah, just word to the wise, don't date anybody you work with, okay? Um, how tall are you? I am five, seven and a half. Um, any tattoos? Yes, I have one tattoo. Any piercings? Just my ears. I just had my ears pierced. Um, I went through that phase during like high school, junior high and high school, where I wanted to get my belly button pierced and my nose and my eyebrow and I didn't do any of those things and honestly I'm glad I didn't. Nothing against it, but now as an adult I'm just kind of glad I didn't do that. So yeah, there you go. Um, what is your favorite show? My favorite show is uh, anything with Chef Ramsay. <laughs> That's my guy. I know a lot of people don't like him because of Hell's Kitchen, but I love Hell's Kitchen. I love Master Chef. Um, I love uh, Kitchen Nightmares and Hotel Hell and all that. That's my guy. Chef Ramsay is my guy. So he, anything with him on it basically is my favorite show. Um, well, who are your favorite bands? For a band, I'd have to say right now it would be St. Paul and the Broken Bones. If you guys haven't heard of them, just search for them. They're, um, I think they're from Alabama, maybe Mississippi, I don't know, but they're kind of a soulful sound and they're a band, they're an actual band with instruments and all that stuff and I really like them when they're young, they're young, so. Anyway, uh, something you miss. I miss when I was younger, hanging out with my brothers and my mom and us just clowning around, being silly and you know, you take those things for granted when you're younger and uh, now that I'm older, I kind of miss that from time to time, how we would just laugh and pick at each other and just have a good time doing nothing. So I miss that. Now that I'm older, I kind of want those days back again. <laughs> so, um, favorite song? Uh, I don't have a favorite song, you guys. It just depends on the genre, I guess. I, I love music, so it just depends. Depends on the genre, but I know for sure Jagged Edges gotta be, it's one of my favorite songs. Um, just a very pretty song. And I've loved that song since high school, so. Uh, Zodiac Sign, I am a Capricorn all the way. Uh, quality you look for in a partner, someone who can make me laugh, make me smile. Those are important to me. And someone who is, um, sweet to other people, kind to other people, that's very important to me, is people who think about others before themselves, it's important. Uh, what is your favorite quote? My favorite quote is by Dr. Seuss, and it's, oh, the places you'll go. Um, my second favorite quote is also by Dr. Seuss, and it's, um, and sometimes you'll play games you cannot win because you play against you, or no, it's, and you will play dangerous games too, ones that you cannot win because you play against you. Something along those lines. I like Dr. Seuss, he be coming up with some stuff. It's not just for kids, not just for kids at all. <laughs> um, your last drink, water, that was my last drink. Um, last phone call was to my brother yesterday. 
uh, last text message was David um, sending me a picture of him putting his fingers in the ice cream. Yes. <laughs> uh, last song you listened to was um, Avant and Kiki Wyatt, um, You and I. Either You and I or It Was My First Love. I think I listened to them back to back. So, yeah, that was it. Um, last time you cried, um, probably in church at some point, um, but not like a boo-hoo and crying though. So, um, the last time I like really, really cried was a few months back when I got engaged. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Loud music or soft? I like loud music to a certain extent. Like I like when I have my earbuds in and it's loud to where I can't hear anything else because I like to get in the zone when I'm listening to music. So kind of loud, but I don't like to hear other people's music loud. <laughs> um, where do you go when you get sad? I usually go for a walk if I'm sad um, or if I just have a lot on my mind, I'll just go for a walk. It always helps me to clear my mind and think things through. So. Yeah, I go for a walk. Um, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Um, I'd say about 45 minutes, I guess. Um, yeah, let's just say 45 minutes. Um, Turn-ons. Turn-ons for me are, I like nice lips. Um, of course, nice eyes. Uh, someone who likes to laugh and can make me laugh is a turn on. Um, someone who can have an actual, who can flow in and out of different conversational topics is nice too. I like that. Um, yeah, turn offs, um, people who are inconsiderate. That's a big no-no for me. People who are rude, um, big no-nos, big, big no-nos. Uh, I don't like those at all. So those are my turn offs. Uh, the reason I joined YouTube, uh, it was just an extension of my blog, ColorMyFootsteps.com, and uh, it was just an opportunity for people to kind of get a better idea of who I am and my personality and for people to actually see when I go places and do stuff, and yeah, I just thought it would be a fun thing to do in addition to the blog. Um, last time you said you loved someone, last night, I told David. Um, last show you watched was probably The Simpsons, either The Simpsons or King of the Hill, which King of the Hill is also one of my favorite shows. Um, the relationship between you and the last person you texted, <laughs> David, <laughs> my fiance. Um, place you want to visit. This is a long answer. I want to visit so many different places and go so many different to different places and areas and time zones and regions and yeah everywhere any and everywhere is where I want to go uh, to the moon and back <laughs> um, do you have a crush I don't have a crush on anybody like an actual day-to-day -day life besides maybe David um, but if I was thinking of like maybe an actor or an actor like an actor or a a musician or something of course Channing Tatum and Tay Diggs and Morris Chestnut and um, oh and Tom Hardy so those are my crushes uh, those are my crushes <laughs> um, the last time you were insulted um, last time I was insulted I don't remember sorry I don't <laughs> I don't so anyway uh, what instruments do you play this is funny because just yesterday I was talking to my friend KB about instruments and um, I had said that I wish I would have learned how to play the drums and the piano but I do not know how to play either so <laughs> I wish I did know how to play something but I don't a uh, favorite piece of jewelry my ring uh, but if if we don't count my ring, I usually like to wear earrings. Earrings are my favorite accessories, my earrings. So, all types of earrings. Uh, last song you sang. <laughs> um, actually, in Walmart with David. You know how Walmart has the, you know, holidays coming up. They always have everything set up. So, they have stuff set up for the 4th of July. 
So I started singing, and I'm proud to be an American. Yeah, all that. <laughs> so that was the last song I, I sang was that song. Gotta show some pride for your country. Uh, been drunk and thrown up. Yes, it's been a long time though, but yes, I have been drunk and yes, I did throw up from it. Uh, do you want to change your name? No, I don't. I used to when I was younger, but now that I'm older, I, I love my name and I love the way it's spelled, um, which isn't the conventional way, but you know. Uh, name something you cannot wait for. What can I wait for? To get our wedding over and done with. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great so we could just move on and you know be married and live life that would be wonderful um and i also can't wait to just start traveling the world and doing all the things i want to do and things that make me happy so yeah i can't wait for that um that is that's everything well that's all of the ones i'm going to answer you guys because there's so much so much I'm done y'all so um as far as oh the last one will be who should answer these questions next I don't know if you're a youtuber and you're watching this then uh, I am tagging you uh, to answer these next so answer these questions so just look them up and answer them uh, most youtubers that I could think of have probably already done this tag so uh, yeah if you're watching it and you have a YouTube channel then do the TMI tag I apologize if I talk too fast that's a habit I just do um, I talk fast I walk fast that's just that's just me. So anyway, thank you guys for stopping by. As always, go to ColorMyFootsteps.com and see what else I'm up to. And find me on Facebook and Instagram, ColorMyFootsteps. Thank you guys so much. Bye.